Hey, it's Victor from Smoky Pan, and today we're going to make lemongrass beef cold noodles. We'll need lemongrass. A lot of lemongrass. And almost every time we work with lemongrass, we need to clean, smash, and then slice it very finely. You can skip the smashing if you're boring and lazy and use a food processor or a blender. But don't worry, I'm just a voice on the internet, so my opinion about your personality flaws doesn't matter. Try to chop the lighter parts super finely because it's going in our sauce and also our beef marinade. After we've chopped enough lemongrass to make my Vietnamese grandma proud, we're going to move on to the ginger. You can smash that with the side of your knife or we can try the classic Chinese chef's smash and slide technique where you smash down and slide side. Oh my god, it worked on first try. Smash all the ginger! <laughs> okay. Um, don't forget the pieces that stick to the smashy side of the blade, too. After the ginger, we're using the same technique to smash the garlic. And when you smash the slide, uh, watch your angle. Oh, <laughs> I shaved off part Probably of the chopping board. Not a big deal. You can see it doesn't really take much force to smash the garlic as long as your knife can lay flat on the board. But make sure your hand isn't too close to the board when you smash. <laughs> Because if you do, you just gotta shake it off because you gotta feed people. Now that your lemongrass, ginger, and garlic are in a container, give it a little mix and set it aside because we're gonna put some in our sauce. In Vietnamese, nook chum. And in Thai, I think it's nam pla. Let's move our lemongrass, ginger, chili flakes, and garlic out of the way and just focus on the lemon. I said lemon. We need to zest the lemons into our sauce container and also juice it. Also remember, it's easier to zest both lemons at once, then juice them. I didn't pay attention, so now I have instant paper cut detector all over my hands, and this was really painful to film. Anyway, you get the idea. Drop in some chopped lemongrass into the lemon juice, then the chili flakes, garlic, and ginger. Add enough sugar to balance all these acids, because we're going to add fish sauce next until it tastes like your favorite Southeast Asian restaurant. Remember to taste as you go and keep balancing those flavors until it tastes good to you. And now the beef. This is like three pounds of chuck steak, but you can use any piece of steak as long as you slice it thin and it's maybe less than 25% fat. I'm slicing half the steak into thin pieces and the other half into cubes that are going into beef stew later. Check back in the future for the beef stew video where I'll compare it against beef ragu. Toss the slices in the marinade with lemongrass, garlic and ginger, marinade and fish sauce. And don't be like me here. Add your black pepper before you get your hands dirty, or maybe even before you touch the beef. Yank your meat around until your beef is evenly marinated all, all around, and pop it in the fridge to marinate for at least a couple hours. Day two, boil some vermicelli for four minutes and rinse it cold. Now we're gonna take the top and tail off the cucumbers, chop them in half, then cut nice tall planks off each side, avoiding the seeds. Then just get all the planks lined up, and slice in the same direction to get two to three millimeter matchsticks. They don't have to be perfectly stacked. Just uh, rinse these off and set them aside. Now chop a carrot in half and repeat the same cuts you made with a cucumber. Nice flat planks, stack side by side, and run them through to get little matchsticks. Rinse these and set them aside too. I like spicy nudes, so let's add a Fresno chili or red jalapeno. Roll it a bit first, then slice nice and smooth. Now my skin's used to handling these peppers, but if it's your first time, you probably want to wear gloves. But hey, if you're the type who enjoys a little pain in the nether regions, then don't let me stop you. You'll find out when you go to the bathroom, or uh, in other ways. Slice the red onions super thin, then set them aside. And if they're too funky for you, you can rinse them in ice water. Violently slap some lettuce on your pork, then roll it all up and that's right, slice nice and thin. And here are today's veggies, also mint, cilantro, and a pleasant surprise, peas sprouts. A classic choice would be Thai basil, but this is what I had. Now let's cook our meat. Get a pan on high, here's the pan. A little bit of oil, get your pan smoky. Then throw your beef in a flat layer to get a hard sear for our noodles. Now that's a smoky pan. While the beef cooks, get your most haunted bowl ready with some lettuce and your cold rice vermicelli. 
cucumbers and carrots, cilantro, mint, and pea sprouts, and raw red onions. Our beef should be done by now, so let's slide that juicy hot meat all over these nudes. And get your funky fresh fish sauce on all your nudes. Add some nuts and crispy garlic and shallots for texture. Spice up your nudes with those red hot Fresno chilies. And now our bodies are ready. Sweet, sour, salty, spicy, savory, saucy, springy, sexy. Uh, other S words for food. It's uh, everything great about a Vietnamese noodle bowl. Packed with flavor in every bite. Cool, bouncy noodles with hot, juicy meat, crunchy nuts, and a funky fish sauce that all comes together as a friggin' party in your mouth and everyone's invited. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to finish alone.